Hello guys, Wizix here for the video update of the new Modit 3.1 version where I did some fix and also I add some new features based on my rocks on the Ghost tutorial because it's been now three months I record this art surface AV tutorial and we used uh, mod it for that because that's really helpful to be quicker and more efficient, of course. And so based on that, I found that some tool uh, really need to be improved, especially the color and the symmetry one. For those who don't know what is Ghost, it's a art surface modeling tutorial in Maya I'm working on and you can get actually on my Wazix store. It's not finished yet, but there is already a lot of hours and content on it. And also what is interesting is that it show you how to use correctly Modit and all the tools to be efficient. To install Modit, it's pretty simple. You can drag and drop the auto installer script into the viewport as shown in the installation video. And this will update automatically for you. Or if that don't work for any reason, you can do it manually by going into the version script folder. You have the mod it here. You delete this one and you just pass the new one and you don't even have to restart Maya. You can just launch and that will update the new mod it. Okay, so we will use the ghost model to show you the new tool. Some bug fix. There is some tool like the soft hard and this one that don't work on multiple objects, which is a problem. So now it's fixed. If you select multiple objects, you can... Okay, that works correctly as expected. Um, also, when you create primitive, there was um, a problem that frees the transform of the primitive after the creation. Uh, which means that we lost the local axis. Uh, now that keep the local axis, for example, if I selected a face, it will import and create the primitive in the uh, component mode. So in the normal of this selection. Okay. And as you can see that keep the local axis, which is what we expected. Uh, on previous version, it freeze. So you have the local axis this way, which is not good at all. So little fix that will be now better. About the new feature, one I really like, it's the, the full screen mode. Uh, I don't know on Mac or Linux, I, I think there is a workaround, but on Maya, you don't have a full screen mode. So here is one, you hit, and now the Maya window will grab all your space. Uh, that can be great. Uh, for concentration and for people like me that works on a single one monitor and yes I like to you know save as much screen space as possible. Um, one tool you use a lot is of course the Beaver Vertex and as you ask me I I add you when you right click on it you can have the Beetle Vertex Add Hotkey that will open you a simple notepad with, uh, with a script. And this way you can copy this, uh, go to your hotkeys and create, you create a new uh, Python one. Be careful about that. Okay, control A, you copy everything. New Python, you type the description and you can assign this way hotkey uh, for that guy. Okay, and of course, it's even way better than to have to click here for this one. Okay, now let's talk about the main improvement uh, I did, which is about the color. I use this a lot. It's really helpful for me uh, to have color um, on my model to, to better know the parts. Here, for example, if I load the guy, you can see there is some color and that help us on this guy to identify which part is which one. By default, I add colorful color because it's also a way to quickly identify the part. 
But uh, when working on this guy, I, I think it would be better to have just the color of the guy and create a kind of template or color shame uh, dedicated to this project uh, to quickly add um, the color when I'm working on it. Let's add a black here. So what I did, it's for example, you, you, you select one slot, you add, and you can go to attribute now and just select the color. So that will be this gray one, for example. Okay, so I want the, it's now this one. Uh, yes, a modification now, it's now uh, no longer in blend, but on standard surface. And the thing is now you just have to relaunch mod it and it will update the icon on the slot. So let's add, for example, here, this one, I will change attribute. Now I would like something like a brighter one. Okay, I will launch mod it and you see. And that will be saved on uh, based on the project. Okay, it will identify and when you load mod it, if the scene is open, that will automatically add the right color. For example, I open another scene with already assigned color. If I just relaunch mod it, you see it will automatically update based on what I, I did on this scene. I open back my works on Ghost. Okay, just have to relaunch mod it and I come back to my color shame. And when you add it everywhere, with uh, thanks to the viewport, uh, viewport it here lighting, you have already a great feeling of your works. Okay. Well, the last addition is about symmetry. Uh, first, uh, now the symmetry tool works uh, way better on multiple selection. Okay, before there was some bug if you don't select only one mesh, but uh, multiple mesh. Uh, now that will work uh, better and as expected. And also I had an instance mod. Uh, before that only was on raw. Uh, duplication, no instance. So for instance, you have to go to the setting. On the symmetry, uh, uh, remember that you have the default axis choice. You know, when you right click on here, you can choose the axis, but if you work on a project uh, like this one, you, you, you saw I want to flip, this guy is flip on X axis. So I just come here, I set it on X, and I don't have to right click. I just have to one click and mod it. No, it's on this axis by default. Great. Uh, so yes, you have the instance mode. So by default is off. So that will just bake on not instance. And if you add check it, you select something and you flip, it's in instance. And when it's done, I add this uh, new button, which is for bake instance. So I will select the group and bake instance. So yes, bake instance will delete the duplication instance. So let's say just for rocks and one you want to clean, you bake and you copy without instance or something like that. Be careful when you want to use this guy, you, you can't use it, for example, on just this mesh that will not work because you have to bake instance at the level you create the instance. So for me, as you saw, I create this instance at um, this group level. So I have to well select this level and now I can bake instance correctly. If I'm just selected this cable, okay, I duplicate it, okay, and I can select this and bake instance. So yes, be careful about that. And if I want this guy to not be, uh, to now be flip and in row, just come here and it's okay. Well, so I hope you will like all these little improvements um, and I will continue to improve mod it. Feel free to ask on the Discord if you have idea or request uh, for tools. And yes, I hope you will like Ghost 2 and the using of Modit in this guy is absolutely crazy and help a lot to create this.